Lucas at the INS. <coughs> I just wanted to ask any people up here if y'all have ever had a real high pop while I was over here laying. Explain to your family on it, perhaps on it for generations. Uh, you kind of knocked on your door for the question. I live in Washington, D.C., so I don't have a natural gas transmission pipeline. My parents have a water transmission pipeline going across their property. If it was running right through your uh, right. 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 work for this company? Yeah, when they've been seen. I don't know. It would. That's just my opinion, y'all. You know, I'm going to give you a comment from opinion, but uh, I think your opinion might be a little bit different. Probably work for a different company if it was coming through your land. And uh, your family's land. I think if someone came knocking on my doorstep, I think I would be very concerned. Um, I would be very, I'd want to be very engaged and active in the process, and I would be at these scoping meetings asking the same questions as yourself. Right. Well, uh, I just wanted to know, I just wanted to know y'all's opinion on it, you know, what you would think. I don't know what y'all think about it. I guess y'all be for it and say, come right on, you know, ruin the river I fish in and have my life, or, uh, the FERC is not for against the project, it's for the environmental review process. So, I'm like you're asking, your opinion, my opinion is I'm for the environmental review process. And what that process, you know, results in, and we'll find out. That's, that's what my opinion is, I'd be for the process. Well, you just heard our opinions, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good job.